front of us. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Morning world! Welcome to our Odyssey! <laughs> we are still in the beautiful mountains of Austria and we parked our camper van last night in this sort of lay-by on a side street surrounded by forest and also right next to this nice river which I'm going to take you down to. There we go! That's really nice to camp next to a beautiful river like this, hey? And the sun's just coming up over the mountains. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning. So today, we are going to be heading into the Hohe Tauern National Park, which is the largest national park in Austria. It's the first national park in Austria. Also in this national park is the highest mountain in Austria and we're going to see this mountain just now! <laughs> So the tallest mountain in Austria is called Grossglockner and we're heading up to a road called the Grossglockner High Alpine Road and apparently it's one of the most beautiful panorama roads in Europe. So it's going to be an absolutely amazing place to drive in our little red tornado. So the Hochalpenstraße is actually a toll road and uh, we're about to enter right now. It's uh, 37 euros 50 for a ticket to drive. So it must be really spectacular for that price. <laughs> parking place here where we just parked up Red Tornado safely 
uh, from here they have already pretty good views but we aren't satisfied with seeing these views from afar so we are going to take a hike to get up close and personal down there <laughs> Davi's just cooking us up a hiking pack lunch <laughs> of some eggs and some bread <laughs> yummy <laughs> We're not sure how long this hike is going to be, so we're just taking lunch just in case. We have like um, vegan meat, <laughs> what we can put on our bread. This fake meat is mwah, so tasty. So we will have this one and egg on our bread. Goodbye, Retonado. It's time to hit the trail. <laughs> so this behind us is the Pasteurs Glacier. It's the longest glacier in Austria. And that down there is where we're gonna hike so we can see it up close. So let's go. <laughs> There's also supposed to be marmots living here. Lots of little cute fairy marmots. So we're gonna try and listen out for them and see if we can catch a glimpse of them. And they're so cute, I really wanna see them. Oh my God, we, we spot one, we spot one. It's just, it's just the, over there. The marmot's just sitting there on the side of the cliff. Oh, he looks so cute. Oh my God. And then we can spot from here as well. Like four ibexes, I think they are. Wow, that's so cool. Wow. Yes. That's so cool. Wow. What nature there is already here. That's unbelievable. <laughs> this incredible landscape. Wow. It looks like we're walking on a different planet. <laughs> <laughs> So this mountain, Grossglockner, behind us is absolutely massive. 3,798 meters above sea level. But in Austria, this is the highest mountain. It's really iconic. It's an iconic mountain. And right down there, the Pasteurs Glacier, 8.2 kilometers long, the longest glacier in Austria. And it looks so, so impressive like a sort of waterfall draining out from the top of the mountain all in super slow motion and you can see down here by the lake huge chunks of ice that have come from the glacier wow i love it <laughs> Along the way here, they're showing pictures of how the glacier used to look from like the 1980s until now. And I can tell you, it's not looking good. It's crazy, even in 1995, here, this one, even then, the glacier was looking quite extensive. And now look, is that global warming? What do you think? 
you can write in the comments what you think. But yeah, it's drastically been reduced over the last 40 years in the pictures that we've seen. never been in a place like this before in my life it's just like huge chunks of ice sitting in the water all dripping and melting away into the lake wow it's like being in the arctic or something it's so cool wow i want to lick it i don't don't lick it Wow, cool. Wow, we're getting closer to the glacier and we're just coming up to the Glacier River which is coming off of the meltwater. Look at that. Wow. Look how much water is melting from this glacier every second. It's actually a surprise that there's any left. The glacier is coming up right in front of us. Unbelievable. It gets more and more pretty, seriously. It's so cool. It's so cool. Look at that, it's just a wall of ice right in front of us. That is so awesome. Wow. What a crazy place. I can feel the coolness coming from it. I can feel the icy chill. Oh my God. Wow. No way. Whoa. Look at that. The whole wall and cave just all the ice and big, big ice blocks just in front of us. We are standing right up at the face of the largest glacier in Austria. I think this is the prettiest place I've ever been in my life. Yeah, really, you can imagine that you're in the middle of like Antarctica or something here. It's unbelievable. That is an absolute ice wonderland. And this whole wall is like moving. 
It's slowly, slowly moving and melting into the valley. Now we have to say goodbye to an unbelievable place. Goodbye, beautiful place. But honestly, this place is one of the most incredible places I've ever been, really. We've been on the tops of volcanoes, we've been to some crazy places, but this is really, really special. Okay, it feels like it's just starting to rain. So we've got to try and make a move back. And we've got to go all the way up to there, to the car park where the car is. Goodbye, I. The glacier's already far behind. Wow, that was so hard coming up actually. <laughs> I think it was like 400, 450 meter elevation. <laughs> super tough, really super tough. <sighs> that was exhausting. <laughs> uh, we're back at the visitor center, back at the car park where Red Tornado is parked. So we're gonna go back into Red Tornado. We're gonna hit the Hawk Alpenstrasse again and uh, complete the rest of this amazing panorama road. Yes. Oh yeah. There we go. Back where it all started. Whee! Oh. So um, we have to find a place now where we can camp for the night. So we're gonna check on iOverlander and park for night and uh, see what places we can find around the area. God, I can smell the car's brakes. Whew. That was some crazy downhill that we did. We descended like a thousand meters in like 10 minutes. But this is the place that we will be camping tonight. It's actually right next to the, um, the toll road entrance, which is just there. And um, yeah, there's a little grass parking area here with some amazing mountain views around so this is where we're going to be staying
<laughs> we will have a very very good night tonight here so i think it's time to cook up some dinner yes tonight we will make a coconut curry with some vegetables and some bread and look at all these tasty ingredients yes Lots of spices. Woo! <laughs> Two of those. Some of this one. Hiya! Woo! Mm. Full of spices. So there we have our beautiful coconut curry with some bread. <laughs> it's a beautiful meal in a beautiful landscape. I was uh, really blown away by the landscape of Austria and this national park, the Hohe Tauern National Park. Wow, absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. It was so worth it to come and to see the glacier, which is 8K long. And we touched the glacier. We actually went and touched it. Yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. incredible. <laughs> it was incredible. Well, we really hope that you enjoyed the episode and enjoyed coming along on our Alpine adventure with us today. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will see you next time. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys. We will see you next time.